So, Chris, you had an AFC, and how did that work out? Um, well, it, it ended up working out great, but I was worried for a little while that the AFC w- it was not going to do what our kids were saying they wanted, but rather what he felt would be best for them and like how he was going to um, determine what um, what really were the desires of, of his clients. So like best interest. Best interest, yeah. But he ended up sticking. He, he tried to get them to change their minds. We have this weird schedule with split weekends, um, but it's worked out great for us. Unfortunately, they just basically stood their ground and said they wanted it that way, and that's how it was, and they were used to it. The kids, and you mean? The kids, yep. And um, it's worked out awesome, and he ended up listening to them. So even though somebody from the outside might have thought this is not in the kids' best interest to have these sort of inconsistent weekends in terms of schedule, the kids said what they wanted, the AFC listened, and it's been great for almost nine years. Yeah. And ten, we're almost, ten years. Yeah, we're almost done, and it, it has worked out just terrific. Um, but in all the with all the clients that you and I have worked with, I don't think I've ever seen a schedule just like this before, so I get why he thought it was a weird one and had his questions. So, so you're glad that the AFC did not make the decision based on best interests and the, use his own opinion. Yeah, absolutely. The word I was using at the time was that he didn't, he wasn't an activist AFC. I don't know if that's a real term in the industry or it's just something I said. Like, did he want to advocate for what he thought or did he want to just do what his clients told him they wanted? And so your children's voices were heard they and you were. were glad. They were. And it's been great.